Alright guys, from the outset, I'm gonna let you all know I'm no professional at this. This is the first time I've really sharpened a plane set up to a very precise level to get a very fine cut or a very fine shaving. As I've mentioned before, in education, we didn't really have the time to spend on this type of detail, so we were literally sharpening planes on a wet stone grinder and that was it, they went into the classroom. I know it sounds pretty sad, but that's just the way it was. All right, so what I have here, I have three wet stones. I've already sharpened the plane blade on the wet stone grinder. Now I've got an 800, 1200, and a, I don't even know what this is, a super fine 5000 Japanese thing. And then I've got my strop, uh, cutting wax, and a honing guide. I'm not really gonna use the honing guide, I'll show you what it is, but I prefer to do it by hand. And what I'm sharpening this blade for today is the Melbourne Tool Company Low Angle Jack plane. Jack plane, smoothing plane. Jack plane. So I'm gonna use this blade and set it up in this plane as like a scrubbing plane. I'm gonna do some material surface preparation by hand. So what I'm gonna to aim to do here is create a little camber or at least just round the edges off. I'm not gonna create a full camber. I'm just gonna take those corners off so that when I am scrubbing the initial um, material off a rough sawn piece of timber, it's just not gonna catch on those sharp edges. All right, to do that, I'm gonna start with the 800 grit whetstone and I am gonna do it by hand. Prior to that, I'll just quickly show you, this is a honing guide if you wanna use one of these, okay? This is where the blade can slip into the guide. I've never been real good at using these. I can't even remember what way they go around, to be honest. There we go. Might work a bit better this way around. All right, and as you might see, it's a pretty steep angle here that we're getting. Right out, and the theory is, you can put a bit of water on there, and basically that will just stay on that tracking guide, and we can sharpen this blade up and down. I prefer to do it by hand. The way I was taught, is to hold it down and just keep moving up so you just see that little ripple of water go out in front and we're keeping it on that angle. And we're just gonna move back and forth on that angle. I just like to move slightly left to right as I go to use the whole width of the stone. Oh man, used to always do these figure eights with these chisels, but uh, I like to just move back and forth on that angle. Okay, so what I'm, what I'm attempting to achieve here is a nice consistent surface. By sharpening first on the whetstone grinder, it will put a bit of a concave in the blade. And with these high steel blades, it takes a, a fair bit of going to get this to a uniform a uniform surface. All right, it's pretty hard to pick up in this on this camera, but what I'm attempting to achieve here is a uniform surface. All right, you can see here, it's hitting on the back edge, it's hitting on the front edge, front edge and back edge, and it's going through the middle. It hasn't quite picked up those corners yet. So what I really want is for the entire blade to look like it does in the middle there where it's nice and shiny. So what I'm gonna do now is just slightly move to one side and I'm just gonna to try to take the corners off here. And then I'm going to repeat that process with the 1200 grit. Okay, so I've moved on to the 1200 grit here. I've now set it back up in a honing block to do this final thing. The high steel blade is just causing me too much uh, issues trying to do it by hand, so I'm going to try to use this thing a bit better. What I'm trying to achieve here is a bit of a micro bevel right on the front edge. So there is the tiniest of burrs on the back here. Probably not enough that I'm gonna get any good separation, but I'm push down and I'm gonna pull. I could just feel that tear a little. All right, now I'm gonna move along. It 
So as I said before, I'm no professional at this. I think I've got pretty decent uh, edge on here now. So now I'm gonna use the world's crappiest strop and some strop paste or wax. I'm gonna give that a good rub on, on this here. Essentially that's just a leather, piece of leather on a timber board. And I've heard 20 is a good number for this. So I'm just gonna give this plain 20 good pull pullbacks on this on this strop. Already lost count there. And we're on the back side for good luck. And last but not least, would this even be a sharpening video if we didn't do the hair test? I don't think so. So let's get a close up of uh, this little blade here and see how we went. To be honest, it's probably not gonna make any Gillette commercials, but it is shaving some hair off there. I'm gonna give it one more once over on the super fine, and then on the strop again, and then we'll test it. All right, so what I've done here is I've set this plane up to act like a bit of a scrub plane. So I've opened the mouth right up. I've taken the corners off this blade, and it's one of the steepest angle blades they've got. It's, I think it's about 50 degrees on this one. And what I've got here is a rough sawn piece of uh, hoop pine. And what I'm going to do is see if I can use this as a scrub plane to flatten out one of these surfaces. So I'm gonna flatten out the top edge here. Um, so initially what I'm hoping for, what will happen is I'm gonna run the plane along here and I'll only take off a tiny little bit to start with. It should look pretty horrendous to start with as it only takes a little bit off. And then as it gets flatter, it should take off a wider, smoother um, shaving. We'll see how we go. Okay, so far so good. It's just taking a little bit of a, a stripe off the top here. too bad. And as it planes down it should take off more and more in one go. I can feel the timbers a bit high on one side. surface nice and flat. Now I've got it reasonably flat. What I'm gonna do is close that mouth up a little bit more. On the timber grain in front of where the plane blade's going. I'm closing that mouth up a little bit and see how that changes the shaving. Final shaving there now. And drop the blade back a bit as well. Now we get some paper thin shavings happening there. All right, so using that jack plane, I'm opening the mouth right up. I've been able to use that as a scrub plane pretty decently there. Okay, so what I'll do now is I'll flip this over from the face edge to the face and flatten that surface as well. I'm gonna reopen that mouth and protrude the blade out just a little bit more to scrub this face side down. And then I'm gonna swap over to a smoothing plane. Okay, the smoothing plane with a far lower angle blade 
and see if we can get this piece dressed up nice and square. But for a more detailed view of that, you're gonna have to wait till the next video. All right, I'll see you next time.